I'm Jen Cutter and I interrupt my round the clock Olympic coverage to bring you this very quick open alpha about the Steel Series Siberia neckband headset. Now I point out my round the clock Olympic coverage because I want to apologize to those of you on my Twitter feed who are so annoyed by the fact that I endlessly tweet about Team Canada's exploits at the Olympics. Right here you can kind of get a peek at my Olympic setup. I have my, my big Olympic machine. Uh, unfortunately I do not have HD cable so it's a bit of a waste. But I have my HD machine and my gaming machine and I split my cable so I can watch two things at once and then I stream stuff on my computer and it's very ridiculous. But I love it. It's once every two years and I go Olympic crazy. And it's nice that it's in Canada. I'm glad we finally won a gold medal on home soil and this is seriously interfering with my gaming time. So it'll be nice a little bit when the Olympics are over. Now we get to the neckband headset. I love neckband headsets. Far and away they're my favorite kind of headset because I have a small head. It may look disproportionate with my super huge Team Canada sweater but I love it anyway. Uh, but I wear junior helmets when I'm on the ice so uh, the senior helmets are the ones that adults are supposed to wear. I wear a junior helmet and you will rarely see me in a baseball cap because the one size fits all thing just comes right off my head and otherwise I have to keep it on the smallest setting. So with this neckband, it's nice and tiny which is great for my head. I was so excited. This is a headset. It is analog but also works on the 360 and it fits my head which is great except for the fact that it weighs 800 pounds. The reason I have my hair in this ridiculous position is actually so that it holds up the headset and I'll take off the glasses so you know that I'm not just blaming the glasses and my weird head for my uh, dislike of the headset but if I keep the uh, the hair in this position it will help and I say help because it's not really a foolproof solution to keeping the headset up. It's quite a pity that it slides back and all the weights back here because the sound itself whew, I sound so much louder without these headphones on the sound itself is amazing. I would buy another Steel Series headset in a heartbeat just as a headset even if I have to go over the top of my head because the sound is crystal clear. The left and right channels are amazingly done. There's a great bass line in this. I read a review of this one that said in Team Fortress 2 you can actually hear the spy coming and I believe it 100%. Uh, this is far and away the best headset I've ever owned in terms of just the headset alone. But the weight is a huge factor and if you're not me the size would actually be a factor for you too. I was concerned that I was a little too biased against the headset just because of my head. So I brought this to a dinner party with a couple of friends of mine because I am that kind of geek. And I passed it around the table to see what they thought of it in, term, in terms of solely the weight. We didn't play any music for them. And I was a little surprised that they had pretty much the same experience I did. Uh, the other girl at the party found it really heavy at the back and the guys over six feet couldn't even get it around their head. It does uh, get a little bit bigger so you do have a little bit more play than just keeping it small like I do. But they still found the weight was at the back and uh, they were worried about slippage and uh, it's really too bad. I'd be curious to see on what kind of head this thing does fit and fit perfectly because otherwise I like, like as I said I like the sound I like the design because the microphone just slides out of the left side of the headset which brings me to my next dilemma this mic is so so quiet I was on Troy Goodfellow's excellent podcast Three Moves Ahead a little while ago and on the computer I had to bump this up 20 decibels before we could have a normal conversation and without him having to crank the volume on his end. Now on the 360 I don't really have that kind of control and I, I kind of had to almost shout into the microphone in order to be heard which is not something I'd want to sustain through a long borderland session or anything of that ilk. So I want to be very very disappointed in the headset because I liked I liked the idea of it was brilliant that's what I liked and that's what let me down but all was not lost for the Steel Series headset, which I will discard for a moment. Also came with the adapter to let you use it on the 360. Now, Steel Series sells these separately, and this I can wholeheartedly recommend for your own analog headsets because here we go. We have your 360 plug, and on the other side for your analog headset, which just slips into the standard port here, and you have this super duper 
fantastically long cord because this goes around straight to your television and then you tweak your 360 settings so that you will get your game audio and the vocal audio coming through the headset, both channels properly represented. And it sounds amazing. Uh, if this thing wasn't so heavy, I would probably do all of my gaming through the headset that way. It was a completely different experience. I've never owned headphones of this quality before, and I'm sure the neighbors would appreciate not hearing, you know, all of my action in the game as loudly as I tend to play it. In the meantime, I'm still searching for a good 360 and PC headset, so if you have any suggestions, please drop me a line at openalpha.tv, and I'll see you next time because I just looked at the time and I need to get back to my Olympics.